Thanks for checking us out here at WXYZ.com. I'm 7 First Alert Meteorologist Chris Edwards, and while our weather is quiet, a bit foggy as we start our Saturday, farther to the south, the flooding from Florence continues to be a huge problem across the Carolinas, particularly North Carolina and far eastern South Carolina. Now, the storm center is inland a little bit. The winds are down to steady at 50 miles per hour, but the threat for flooding is just increasing as this continues to crawl ever so slowly and already over two feet of rain has fallen in parts of North Carolina and there is a lot more to come. Now, here's what this has to do with our weather. First of all, not a whole lot, but as the storm creeps westward, it then starts to turn to the north. By early tomorrow afternoon, the center of the storm will be in western North Carolina. Then it starts to pick up speed. It will have weakened considerably, but by late Monday afternoon into the evening, the center of the storm will be in east-southeast Ohio. And that could spread some rain shower activity into our area by late Monday. It would just be a glancing blow. The system at that point will be picking up speed and moving off to the east. But once again, that is not until the weekend is over. This morning, we start with fog and low clouds. They will slowly burn off and give way to partly sunny skies. And we're up to 84, way above average for this time of year. Overnight, again, a warm, muggy night, dropping to 67 with more fog forming in the late night hours. And seems like it's going to be very similar on Sunday. Fog early, then more sunshine, an easterly wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. The change comes on Monday with more cloudiness hanging around and that chance of a shower during the afternoon hours especially. Then a separate system brings us a slight chance for a shower storm back into the mid-80s on Tuesday. The lower humidity day, the best chance for that looks to be Wednesday. We get a little break from the muggies midweek, and then they start to build in once again before another front moves through Thursday night into early Friday and brings us a chance of showers. Whatever you have planned, I hope you continue to stay close to us. If you're headed to the big house, it's going to be warm. It's going to be muggy. And it's going to be a fine day for football if you like it on the hot side. Of course, stay with us at WXYZ.com all weekend long. We'll keep you updated on Florence and its changes and our weather as well.